Looks like I've got logs. Uh, no log. Very suspicious. Hang on a minute. Many logs. Suspiciously Russian. And it's German! What are they trying to do? Now, I'm not Jingles, obviously. <laughs> I'm sorry. Had to steal that clip from somewhere. But have you ever wondered why Russians would strap wooden logs to their tanks, such as within the video, as well as the many models demonstrated within the game, like the IS-8, the T-54, the T-62A, as well as the SU-100. So the wooden log has become a cliché symbolism of Russian tanks in real life, as well as within the game. And I found it pretty interesting why Russians would strap wooden logs to their tanks. Welcome back folks, for a new series on my channel that I like to promote as short video clips about interesting topics that you may or may not have noticed about World of Tanks or tanks in general. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about the wooden logs that's cliched on Russian tanks. Now originally I thought these wooden logs were strapped to the tank in order to help the tank with buoyancy when the tank is underwater. So when the hull is covered with water, the wooden log will help with the buoyancy. And that's a stupid hypothesis. <laughs> the tank weighs about 60 tons. One stick of wood is not gonna help buoyancy the tank up when it's underwater. <laughs> that was a stupid idea, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? So my second thought was, when the tank gets stuck in mud, what they would do is take the log off, stick a rock under the tracks or under the hull, and jam the log so you can use it like a lever. So you can just pry the tank out of muddy situations. And that's also a stupid idea <laughs> because the tank weighs 60 tons. And you couldn't use a wood stick or wooden log to unlever a tank out of muddy situations. That's also stupid. So <laughs> those are childish thoughts about wooden logs used on tanks. Ugh. So the actual purpose of the wooden log is to unstuck the tank from muddy situations or when the tank is bogged down in soft terrain. And what they would do is take the log off and put it lengthwise alongside the hull of the tank, strap it to the tracks of this tank, and have it pull slowly across the tank underneath, and acting like a claw or like the claw from the bulldozer to slowly drag mud away from the bottom of the tank and push the tank forward. Now I have a diagram of how this works. So basically what they would do is, imagine if this tank is bogged down in a swampy area. So imagine the orange thing is mud, I guess. <laughs> and what they would do is, they take this log off, obviously. They put it lengthwise along the front of the tank. So imagine this as the log. So the log is lengthwise inside the front. And what they would do is, they strap this log to the tracks of this tank. So imagine that as the chain to strap the log in. Now what they would do is they would rev up the engine and pull the tracks forward. So the tank would drive forward, pulling the log underneath. And the log would slowly drag the mud underneath the tank and pushing the tank forward. So the log would slowly be dragged by the tracks of this tank all the way to the back. So it would continuously drag by the chain, obviously. Ooh, it's not black. Oh no. So imagine the chain dragging the log underneath the muddy ground. So it will constantly drag the log slowly across the bottom of the tank, all the way towards the end, and where it just hangs there, obviously. And the crew would just untie the log back here. So they will untie it and put it back in the front. So slowly it will drag the log across the bottom of the tank and across the mud underneath to pull the tank forward. And that's how they unstuck the tank from muddy situations. Now I have a clip about this maneuver, so watch this video, it's, it's going to be quick, but it's pretty interesting. После чего командир танка дает команду членам экипажа 
на установку тросов и их крепление. Так, а теперь давайте. Самый ответственный момент это правильное крепление бревна от гусеницы с помощью этого троса. Протягивай его. Вот кто? За следующий стоп усилий. Бревно поплотнее, наверное? Не, нормально, натянется. Когда там нужно тоже переделать, чтобы там на А сейчас просто бревно оттянем и все. А мы сейчас эксперимент проведем. Такое крепление оказывается наиболее правильным. После того, как проведены все работы по подготовке машины к самому вытаскиванию, командир дает команду на запуск двигателя. Один из членов экипажа становится сзади машины для контроля выхода тросов самого вытаскивания перед ведущим колесом. Идет запуск двигателя. Двигатель запущен. Командир дает команду. Вперед. Так, машина пошла. Вот преодолевается. Трос. Трос. Прямо утапливается грунт и машина пошла. отдать команду. Снятие тросов и укладка их на свои места. And now you know a little bit more about why Russian tanks are cliche to have wooden logs on them. It is because the logs are used to unstuck the tank from muddy grounds or swampy lands. So Russian landscapes are not pretty good because the ice and mud and crap. So they have to use logs a lot, obviously, to drag the mud or whatever that's underneath the tank and help propel the tank forward. Now, if the log breaks underneath the tank, obviously, you can just use your axe to cut down another tree and strap it to your tank again. So. That's pretty easy. It's almost caveman-like in terms of concept, but it works. So it's not like spending three million dollars to develop some sort of special pulley system or special log system to pull the tank out. You don't need that. Just use your axe, cut down a tree, and use that log to help propel your tank forward. It's pretty easy with your tow cables and just a log. So that's pretty easy, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I had pretty much a lot of fun making it. So it is going to be a short video about tank concepts or interesting facts about tanks, which you may or may not have noticed, but I like making these short videos because I don't have time out of each day to make long 30 minutes video, obviously. But hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more of these World of Tank based stuff, but I do a lot of stuff for World of Tanks and tanks in general. but. They are pretty much interesting and very fun. But hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, comment below what you think about this new series called Tank 101, I think. Well, I'm gonna call it Tank 101, but it's gonna be a fun video series. I think I'll make lots of fun, interesting videos about tanks. But hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. To die.